Hi, it's Linda Rayner of lindarayner.com, career strategist, speaker, and coach. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to answer the where do you see yourself five years from now interview question in a way that gets you closer to landing the job offer without putting off the interviewer. And here's a hint. The answer doesn't involve you saying that you want to be a manager or director in the next five years. So if you struggle with this interview question, then pay attention because I have a secret formula that I think works across any job title and any industry. Now, before we answer this question, we need to understand why the employer is asking us this in the first place. Reason number one, they want to make sure you actually want to be there in the long term as realistic or unrealistic as that may seem, if you give any hints that you plan to be elsewhere and not work at this company from now well into the future, then they'll consider that as a red flag and likely not consider you further in the process. So if you actually truly plan to one day run a business in the next five years, maybe a good idea to not mention that as part of your answer. Reason number two, they want to weed out the ones who want this job and this job only versus the ones that just want a foot in the door or are already thinking about the next job title. You want to ensure that your answer speaks to just this job and only to what this job has to offer. Sometimes companies don't know if they'll have a higher level role for you to go into in the next two, three, five years. So if you make it sound as if it's your expectation to be promoted into a manager title, manager role or, or director role in the next X number of years, then they'll likely just err on the side of caution and not consider you further because they may not be able to provide you what you want. Or they'll see you as being overly ambitious and using only this opportunity as a stepping stone to get to the next level. Okay, so now that we understand why this question is asked, I'll now give you my magic formula for how this question should be answered. There are two parts to this answer, and in this example, I've used an accounting type of example, but you'll understand the structure as we go along. So part one of the answer is, in the first two to three years, I see myself becoming a true expert and master at my role as a, insert job title, at insert company name. I plan to really immerse myself in this position and understand areas that can be improved on, really get to know the ins and outs of the business and look for opportunities to make the finance team and department as efficient as possible. So that is part one. Part two is for the two to three years after that, I see myself as being a key finance business partner and liaison to all the other teams in the organization. I want to be able to extend my expertise and offer help to other departments, whether it be sales, marketing, or operations, using my skills and knowledge gained from my role. The reason why this formula works so well is because firstly, you're keeping it general. You're not talking about specific titles that you want to achieve, which may put off some interviewers. And instead, you're talking about what you'll do instead of who you'll be in the next five years. And secondly, you show that you're eager and that you truly want this job, that you're focused on this role and this role only, that you simply want to help and give value. So if you've been saying anything other than this and you like this little two-part formula that I've come up with to answer the where do you see yourself five years from now interview question, then feel free to use it and let me know how it goes. So now you know how to answer this interview question, but do you know if your resume is good enough for the interview in the first place? Feel free to download a copy of my 10 Ultimate Resume Hacks Cheat Sheet located in the link below where you'll learn tips and tricks on how to land more interviews and ideally job offers. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next